Hey, this is Kyle Oliver uh, from the Media and Social Change Lab at Teachers College Columbia University. And I want to show you around our uh, digital learning at TC exhibit um, that we have done in partnership with the Office of Digital Learning here um, uh, in the fabulous Smith Learning Theater here at Teachers College. So I'm going to see if I can turn my camera around. So, uh, this project um, is an attempt, hey guys, to capture uh, something of the breadth and depth of digital learning happening at Teachers College. And uh, the way that we ended up doing that was uh, a series of video interviews with faculty. And then we did a, a loose qualitative code on those interviews and uh, came up with six themes uh, that the ex exhibition is based around. Uh, so I won't talk about all of them, but this first theme is called Windows. And the idea here is um, that one theme that emerged from our interviews was that, that technology allows you to see student learning in ways that uh, we hadn't previously been able to. So we had a number of faculty members uh, talking about that. We featured a couple of video games uh, produced by faculty and staff here, or faculty and students, excuse me, at Teachers College. And uh, they're a good example of that sort of phenomenon of you get to watch kids learn as they play the game. Uh, so we have a number of these exhibits. This exhibit, Conduits, here is um, basically about various initiatives um, that use technology for crossing time and space. Um, got a little board here that uh, we're inviting people to pin their learning partners on, uh, on Google Maps to sort of capture some of this. I'm really uh, a big fan of this little listening station over here. These are doctoral students who have recorded their recitals because they um, serve all over the country and uh, just come here for a couple weeks in the summer. And so they've got to do recitals, and so they, um, they submit electronic versions of them. So you can put on some headphones and listen to some jazz or classical, as you like. Um, in many ways, uh, one of the big highlights of the exhibition has uh, been this virtual reality chemistry lab that was created uh, by Teachers College student Elliot Hua, who's a friend of mine. And uh, he and his colleagues are here taking people through this uh, virtual reality experience. Um, so you can do this little chemistry lab, and then you can um, actually sort of hop into the beaker and uh, do some manipulating of the molecules inside. Really uh, clever, uh, clever design. I really like this exhibition, uh, or this exhibit, excuse me, on materiality. Um, technology as a, um, as a performance space, uh, some spoken word uh, going on over here, and uh, technology as art materials. Uh, so Marta Cabral, who teaches art at the preschool here at Teachers College, creates these augmented reality auras. We'll see how well we can see it on this iPad here. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but I've just scanned the photo of the, the little girl who created this beautiful um, piece of art, this, this cardboard box here. Um, and so when you scan the photo of her, you actually get to see her physically making that artwork. Um, Marta had just lovely stories to tell about how parents have been really moved to see their kids um, producing art in these very independent ways that they wouldn't have expected. Um, this is another fun, uh, fun piece. An art student here at TC um, created this little spinner. It's uh, 3D printed and laser cut, and it's sort of a comment on uh, President Trump's uh, tweet vocabulary. Uh, the piece is called POTUS virus, and using this little spinner here, people have created um, some imitation uh, presidential tweets. The Learning Theater just has so many really fascinating um, technological options. Uh, you can see here there are cameras all around the space and that uh, you know, allows us to capture some of what's, what's happening. I'm trying to remember if you can see me standing here right now, uh, if we have that view. Yep, there I am. Um, and uh, there's also a system here, not too many people are using it right now, but people can wear a little uh, tag 
And as they move around the space, um, this little screen uh, captures their movement. And so we'll be able to use that to create little like heat maps of where people spent their time in the exhibition, um, which is a, a really nice feature. Coming down the home stretch, we have uh, an exhibit about, uh, about design and the way that um, educational design sort of puts technology and pedagogy in conversation. Uh, we've got folks from the Center for Technology and School Change collecting ideas about that. Um, some playtesting going on over here of a uh, party card game uh, that teaches coding. So uh, um, physical game teaching a digital skill. Um, EcoCoin is a game um, by one of our game design uh, faculty members that encourages environmentally uh, friendly challenges. Um, we just missed light play, uh, but these folks have created a wonderful game where you um, project uh, shapes onto, onto a, a whiteboard using light and shadow and use those to tell stories. Um, and then near and dear to our hearts in the Media and Social Change Lab is this exhibition on multimodality. Our firm belief in Mass Collab is that um, text only gets you so far. And so we're really interested in bringing multiple modes of expression uh, into our work. So you can see we couldn't resist um, with our poster here, adding little video abstracts uh, to the poster itself. We wanted to sort of practice what we preached. Um, Dietra Price Dennis, a faculty member uh, here, does a lot of um, does a lot of work, sort of at the intersection of digital literacy and social justice. Um, and this is a fabulous uh, little video animation here. Um, explore uh, stop motion animation created by elementary school kids uh, exploring uh, gender roles and gender stereotypes. Um, and they did a lot of work there that you couldn't do. Um, written but that worked really well in video form and of course we wanted to take advantage of these amazing giant legos and um, this uh, sort of indoor imagination playground and so encouraging people to express themselves that way um, this is my new colleague steve goss who i've spent a lot of time with this week he runs tc's office of digital learning and uh, brought some artifacts from his office here and so uh, people who've come to the exhibit have actually helped him uh, build the exhibit. Um, various, again, physical artifacts um, from the digital process of guiding these various um, digital learning experiences happening at TC. No takers right now, Steve? Uh, no, actually none. We're, uh, we're coming, coming down the line. Uh, I will be open for another half hour, 45 minutes or so. so uh, Starting to, starting to clear out a little bit. Um, and here we've got a little Mass Club, uh podcast and video watching and listening station uh, to tell you a little bit about us, the Media and Social Change Lab, where I sort of, uh, where I sort of live. So uh, that's the exhibition. Um, really uh, hope that you enjoyed getting to see a little bit about the, um, that's Dietrich Price Dennis, by the way, who I mentioned earlier. Um, and if you need some books, we've got books too. Uh, so anyway, I appreciate you um, having a peek at this exhibition. It's been a really fun project for me, and um, we'll see you around.